I was a teacher for 33 years in the Westside School District and for 11 of those years I taught at Westbrook Junior High and when I was there I had Jimmy probably grade 6 through 9. He's, uh, he's just such a, he was just the most likable kid you could ever have a student and like I say 33, you know, 30 years later I still remember Jimmy like it was yesterday when I had him as a, as a student. Color wise I just knew that you know with Officer Jimmy the photo of him is in that dark blue policeman's uniform and I said but really Jimmy is not that cold dark blue he was more the you know just that high energy kid loving uh, personality inside so I said what if I do the inside of the horse this bright orange and have a sun kind of radiating out from the center and so the eye on the word Wilson is supposed to represent the sun and it just kind of bursts out from the center and hopefully radiates out so you got the dark blue contrasted with the with that yellow orange inside of the horse and um, I know the buffalo is part of the police officer's uniform the badge so that gave me you know I started thinking well how can you work a buffalo inside of a horse so I started looking at the orange and it was kind of rough and rusty looking and I thought well they kind of look like cliffs so maybe I could make the buffalo look like it's kind of standing on a cliff and looking out over this kind of a scene, created kind of a sunset, whatever. And then I had a Blair police officer drive by and all of a sudden he stopped and came back and he walked into the garage and was like, why do you have a horse in your garage? And so I explained the story and he thought that was so cool. And I was almost done with it at that time. He said, do you mind if I call my partner and have him come or have her come and take a look? So pretty soon there was another police car. So now we have two police cars parked out in front of the house and I could see some neighbors off in the distance kind of looking over here to see what's going on. And and I said, well, I'm debating about if I should add some more to it. And they, they both said, no, you need to stop. It looks perfect. And they said, what a neat honor to be asked. Because they both, both knew of the story of Jimmy. So that uh, by them telling me they thought it was done, I said, OK, well, then I'll call and tell them to come pick up the horse. You know, as an artist, sometimes I like to kind of trick people. And if I'm painting sets on stage, you want to create an idea of depth or three dimensional on a flat surface. And so with this horse, I wanted to do everything I could to try to make it look like you could see through the horse and sometimes you have to stay in a certain direction you can see up inside the neck or back inside of its its butt I guess so yeah, I wanted to get this illusion effect and that all comes through shading and to try to make the horse look more rounded and to try to make thickness to the cutout letters um, so I guess as an artist you're kind of a magician and you like to kind of trick people and have them come up and think that they could really see through the horse and want to say and then when you get close it's like oh you can't and then to hide the letters Wilson I could have made it very bold and made the Wilson in bright wet red letters and so it's pretty obvious but I thought nah it'd be much more cool to have people go aha now I see it so yeah it's just it's fun to play around with with tricks I guess.